Welcome back everybody, this is Nova Mage, once again with another Wanted match. Okay, so AC3 has been around for two weeks and yes, we got plenty of stuff to talk about. Uh, yeah, first, I got a few updates, uh, mostly you know for the channel. The first thing is, as you may have noticed, that now I'm going to begin my videos with a uh, tip of the day, the Assassin's tip of the day. And just, you know, mostly going to put useful information there. It Sometimes it will be useful even for, for people with experience. Uh, I'll try to do that most of the time. But sometimes it will be, you know, information maybe that some of the new people to the game may have ignored that is not completely obvious. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, how it's going to be. And if you like that, you know, if you liked uh, this tip of the day thing or and if the one that I put today it was it was useful to you and you didn't know it then you know just leave a like or, or comment so so I know and that way I'll know if I can I should keep doing that okay so a few days ago I had a match with uh, Draquaza I think I'm not sure if that's the way that you pronounce that but I had a, a match with uh, Draquaza and Christian Knox. Both of them, both of them are very competitive players, and it turned out to be a very interesting game. Well, actually, we played like four games, and I didn't rec record any of them, but Dra Draquaza did uh, record one of them, and you can uh, watch it in his channel. I'm going to put the link in the description so you can check it out. It was, you know, very interesting because not the usual, the usual stuff that you see, uh, like you see seeing so many competitive players together. Well, <laughs> I'm calling myself a competitive player, but they're like, you know, uh, like a whole level above me. But it was a, a good match, and even though I didn't win, you know, if I had recorded it, it would have been great. But yeah, unfortunately, I didn't. In any case, you should still go check uh, Droquasa's channel and, and see the video that he has there. From now on, uh, I will be trying to bring more competitive gameplay if I have the chance, because, you know, <laughs> competitive players, they are not usually online. <laughs> just like, oh yeah, let's play right now. It's not quite like that. They just appear every once in a while. So yeah, if the chance, the chance comes up, then... I will be doing it. Also, lately I have been tr playing team modes, mostly thanks to the lady trickster who is inviting me to, to some team games. And all, if I get footage on that, then I'll also be posting it here in, in my channel. And uh, of course, I hope that you like you guys uh, like that kind of thing. Okay, so let's talk about AC3 now. As I said, it's been two weeks. And I have been noticing a lot of things, uh, just like the thing that I put in, in the Assassin's Tip of the Day. But yeah, I'll be talking about that, about that in, in a little bit. But first, let's talk about the abilities and you know the, the changes to the mechanics in, in the gameplay in AC3. Okay, so I don't know if you remember, but in my Goodbye ACR video, I was anticipating some things about how AC3 will work compared to ACR, of course. And to ACB, and most of them I would say were correct because with the change of only one button to kill and stun, then now it's like great for approaching people. You could also see that in, in my first match, which was a death match, that I went into the blend group of a person and I was like focusing them and that stuff, which is something that you definitely couldn't do in. In, AC, in ACR, <laughs> if you went into the group with someone else, then you they would just see the prompt and BAM! You will be immediately stunned, this, it's not a question about that. Even, even the biggest noob will pick you out in the crowd, no, no matter how stealthy you were, but here, yeah, it's completely dif different. And another thing is that, as I said, smoke bomb is not as much of a concern as it was in, in ACR. Of course, it's, it is still as powerful because it can prevent acrobatic kills and it is instant, you know, it, it doesn't have a delay. But with the, the large cooldown, then it's, it's like weird. You, you don't see not even half 
as many smoke bombs in the game because people before they would just use it without even thinking. Now at least people stop a bit <laughs> and think before actually using it. Also for people who are hardcore offensive smoke bombers then it, it just doesn't pay off because most of the time they don't have that appeal. For example here you can see that I use it because I wanted to stun both of these guys and that, that's a good use for, for a smoke bomb but using a smoke bomb for, for killing a person it doesn't really pay off also score times 2 even though it is in the game and I wish it wasn't in the game but even though it is still in the game it was greatly nerfed because I, I don't know if you guys know but for winning streaks and loss streaks uh, well first of all if you if you stun someone then that breaks your last streak and it should have been like that in Revelations but it wasn't so for example if you die four times in a row and then you stun someone then even if you die again without killing your target you're not going to get your last streak so yeah no more of that thing that happened in, in Revelations where people were like in first place and they were like stunning people left and right and be just because the, their their contracts were, were getting killed, they just got score times to. At the same time, they were making a lot of points by doing stuns, and then land and always be score times two and do like two thousand points b b with the last streak. Yeah, that's not gonna happen because the stun breaks your last streak. So yeah, that's I think that's one of the reasons that you rarely see any last streaks at all in um, AC3 because people rarely even get them. There, there was a guy the other day that was playing with me and he told me like, hey, I have died, like, my, I have lost my contract like 13 times in a row and I still don't have my score times too. And I'm like, dude, that's probably because you are stunning people. And if you stun people, then you're not going to get your last streak. That's pretty much how it works. So yeah, no rewards for players who are just letting themselves lose contracts just like that. Okay, um, also, knives are kind of overpowered. They're not completely overpowered because, yeah, well, they, they work pretty much like they worked in, in Revelations. They have a bigger cooldown, of course, because now almost every ability has a larger cooldown. But at, at least they are weak to two other abilities, which are Smoke Bomb, which of course is like the, the douchey way of countering <laughs> the knives. If you're if you're the the pursuer, and there's also firecrackers. Actually, I didn't even know that firecrackers could counter the knives until recently, where I noticed that like if you try to stun your pursuer and they throw firecrackers, well, some someone threw firecrackers at me, then it it doesn't let you like you you will go into a contested kill if you try to go for the stun, even if they are knifed. So yeah. That's pretty much it regarding knives. Also there's bodyguard which now is like I would say more powerful because you can there's no way to stun the bodyguard. You know since the, the kill and the stun from well button are the same, then if you try to stun the bodyguard like you did in ACR, instead it's going to kill him. So that will give your target a lure and you will get stunned afterwards. Okay so Talking here a bit about this ability set changing thing, as you can see, that I just did it. Uh, the the clip of the uh, uh, of the tip just happened just now, and I'm going to do it again in a little while. Oh well, no, it's, it's it hasn't happened. It's going to happen now. Okay, so the point is that as you're going to see, you can change your ability set at any time just by spending uh, a few abstergo credits. And I honestly don't know why Ubisoft put that because look at look at this, yeah, you see, I'm just gonna change it. Okay, so I don't know why Ubisoft put this in the game because I think it, this can be a bit of a game breaker because if you sh if you switch ability sets and the abilities that you switch to have a lower cooldown than than the ones that you had before, then the cooldown is cut to to the fraction of. of of the time remaining of the new ability so for example if you land poison and then you switch the set just like I did 
for another for another one that, that has decoy in the same place that poison was then the cooldown time on poison is going to get cut by half which i think is it's unfair because i mean then everybody is going to be doing this just to cool down the, their abilities faster even though it gets more expensive you know with time but still i think that's gonna be a bit of a game breaker oh uh, or i don't know maybe when you check it out in competitive gameplay it's going to be great and who knows but i guess this is the kind of thing that has the potential to ruin completely the game well the match is over i hope that you enjoyed me talking about random stuff and the changes in ac3 i will keep putting up more videos with tips and that stuff and talking about more changes in the game and about my experience with the game so far i have liked it despite everything and i hope it keeps going like that well guys if you like click the like button and i'll see you next time